What's up guys, welcome back to Diving Garage. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I took this truck from a wild ride into a smooth roller. Let's dive in. For those of you that are new to the channel, this is Hank, my 1979 Chevy K10. And he's sitting on a four inch lift and 33 inch Goodyear tires. So what's the problem? Well, riding in Hank is like riding on a bucking Bronco and it's, it's rough. I've hit the roof, I don't know how many times going over a big bump at speed. And it, it's time to change that, right? So what are we doing today? today we're gonna be talking about these new shocks I just put in. Let's go check them out. All right, so this here is a Rancho RS 9000 XL. And it's not just any shock. If you notice down here is a little knob, that's because there's nine different levels of adjustability to go everything from OE ride quality to heavy duty towing. But in this case, we're gonna be using it to calm down the ride of this square body truck. Now. If you know anything about square bodies, you know they're notorious for having a rough ride. But with these things, we're going to change that. All right, so this here is the knob I was talking about. It's super easy to adjust. All you do is turn it counterclockwise uh, for a uh, OE style uh, compression rate or turn it clockwise for a aftermarket performance or even a heavy duty towing uh, compression and rebound rate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out at number five and it's super easy to turn. You just grab it, turn it however you need to go and all the way back down to one. I'm just gonna start right in the middle at five. And there's a little pointer and a little number, if you can see that. There you go, yep. And let's go do some driving. And it's the same process here on the passenger side. We go to three, four, and five. We're gonna start right there. Now I've been sort of just dealing with Hank's bad suspension, bad handling for quite some time, but Pretty soon here, I'm getting ready to put that blower on. If you haven't seen that video, check it out, link right here. And uh, I don't wanna be losing control at, I don't know, 100 miles an hour, making like 700 horsepower. Nope, so we need to get this ride figured out and sorted out. I can't tell you how many times I've been driving or about to hit a bump, and I sort of figured out how to react when a bump's coming up. You gotta grip like you're about to fly out the window, foot off the gas, don't touch the brakes, and just nail it straight on but if it's on like a curve or you're not ready for it you hit it straight or you hit the bump straight on and uh it's you never really know what's gonna happen you might it might be fine you might take it okay or your head might hit the roof or you might hit the glass in the back like it's it's nuts guys i'm telling you uh, i had a friend in here a little while ago you know who you are and we went for a quick rip down some side roads and <laughs> <laughs> and that really, it just let me know how bad it actually was. I, I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it was that bad. So we're getting to figure it out and let's go do some reps. All right, it is much later. I've been running these uh, Rancho shocks for quite a while now. They've been doing pretty good, but I figured this would be a good time to really test them out. Uh, we've been up there, what, twice now and it gets pretty rough. It changes from this nice pavement to uh, some rough dirt. And we're not going that way. Anyway, uh, but I haven't gotten a chance to adjust the shocks, so I'm gonna go do that right now. I'm running on, running on, on number five. Let's stiffen them up a bit. Let's do like number seven. As if you can see, there's a seven right there. If you can see, I don't know. Anyway, I stiffen them up a bit and then we'll uh, we'll try it again. See if we get any improved performance. All right, I don't know how well you can hear me, but uh, got the shocks cranked up to seven. I had them on five earlier. Man, big difference. I have a lot more control. The truck is bouncing everywhere a lot less. It's really just handling the, the road a lot better. So this is really good. I'm very happy with these Rancho shocks. Just being able to adjust them as you're hitting different kinds of terrain or maybe towing or hauling. This is great. I can tell an immediate, like, I don't know, stabilization, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't know, I just feel a lot more secure as you're driving around on these crazy roads. A lot more stable. But no, it's still really good. I don't, I was gonna crank them up again to like eight or nine, but this feels really solid. So I'll probably just leave them here. All right, quick pit stop. Truck is doing great with the, uh, with the shocks turned up to seven. A lot better ride a lot more control too that's awesome i'm about to be doing some rock climbing here should be a good time but no these things are great uh, i know this is quite a bit different than where i left you off in the last video or the last series of shots but uh i feel like this was a good place to really test them out and honestly 
great. Uh, to me, if you're didn't, considering these for your square body, you should do it. Not only for the fact of being able to adjust them, uh, but overall, they're just good quality, and uh, I'm pretty happy with them. Too hard on that one, pretty sorry. It's fine, I loved it. How's it look back there? Have we lost anything? No, but I can barely see anything. Look behind you, right here. Uh, here, baby, here, there. baby. Look back there. No, everything's still yet. there. Everything's still there. I think we're good. Bikes, ice chest. I can't see the ice chest. <clears> really. <throat> <Me neither. laughs> Bump. Mm -hmm. uh, not that bad. Yeah, look at this cliff. This is the road. And it goes down there. Got a little, little bit of a burst, but not a ton. All right, here we go. Yeah, exactly. Right, <laughs> the falling noise. What is that? Oh, man. Is your head okay? Yeah. Let me get my head out. <laughs> we got 1%. Oh, 
What is that car doing up here? How does it make it? It must have turned around. It must have got this far. I'm like, nope, we're out of here. But still, this is pretty far for a car. Yeah, it is. Maybe they live right here.